the founders of the Little Free Library were in town. And every time they visit a town from and throughout the country, they will come by and uh, install a new uh, Little Free Library. Where do you want to set it up at? They came with a whole trailer full of Little Free Libraries. I got some choices for you. I had a garage sale in 2010 in May. And uh, what ended up happening was people approached it like it was a brand new puppy. And they got excited, they got thrilled, they pitched their voices. And half the people that uh, I installed them for the first year or so, they hugged them. They just hugged them. They worked with some of the clients. They dug a hole in the ground. They installed it. There we go. Stocked it with books. And we're all so proud that there's a little free library here at the Clintonville Resource Center. We try to give back to the community. So it seems to open up community. It's about building community. And Mom was all about community and family and friends. This is Clintonville's first public library is actually here at this building. Oh, that's so nice. It's such a cool looking building. The way those little free libraries work is you can take the book that you like and just take it with you. And that's the whole idea. You take a book and then return a book. And don't you know, someone passed me a free book because I said I go to a dog park and it's about a dog. Martin Luther King said, was asked if you're gonna die tomorrow, what would you do? And he said that I would uh, plant a seed. And so we're hoping that this is a seed in Columbus. Well, I just think only in Clintonville would you find this kind of friendliness and openness and just trying on something new. I think it's wonderful. Everybody deserves a chance to have their own book. That's right. I thought it was a book.